Hello, in the last part of the tutorial I've explained how Pusher authentication works and we have created a Pusher auth script um, and in this part of the tutorial uh, we will start um, to implement the rest of JavaScript code for this and um, let's start from uh, the part where we have to get the information about all online users so when we load the page Pusher will establish connection it will add us immediately to the list of online users but we have to get that, that data somehow and now we have to uh, listen to some channel that will on which we are going to be notified about those informations in, from which we can uh, get uh, the, uh, all the members that are online so our channel that we have to deal with is P channel and we have to bind on the, that channel on the event called pusher subscription succeeded and we'll have the callback function members will be supplied like argument and now we have in this variable we have uh, the returned members which are currently online and we have to loop through these members and just add them to some list to some div or display them on the page simply now we loop through each of members as member and we're just going to add user and now in this, in this variable member uh, we have info field info field which contains information about the username about the username and that means for each user we will grab his username and add this username to some list or something so let's go here and implement this function So we have to append this to some div element and we don't have any div elements for that in here. So let's add one div uh, and I'll just say um, uh, online users. Okay, and div will have the ID online. Okay, and now in main.js we can simply select this div using jQuery and append data to this div and this data will be a new div with a class that starts with user and has the username in its name and uh, it will contain just username okay now every time somebody uh, when every time you log in you will get the list of four members and every member will uh, will loop through every member and uh, every username will be appended to our online div okay now we can uh, simply uh, I think uh, test this out and see if it really works and uh, because we are the only user when we refresh the page we won't probably see anything. Let's test this out. If I refresh the page, oh, we see Jeff. Okay, it's okay. Now we have logged in, and this function has looped through each user. It see, sees that there is only one user, Jeff, and now we have this in our list. So let's open a new browser and log in as Kate. And now we can see that Kate is here, but not in here and because we haven't implemented that functionality yet so we have to implement a new uh, we have to create a new code that will uh, uh, be triggered every time somebody connects to pusher so let's go and do this so same as before we bind to p channel and the event is called pusher member added every time a new member is added and new member is added when this member creates a new connection to Pusher and subscribes to the channel 
that is in fact presence channel then we will trigger this function and use this variable, variable member to access the data about the member so same as before uh, we have uh, taken this username and uh, we have added this user to the list and one more thing to do uh, is what happens when user disconnects or closes close the browser or close the tab uh, then connection to pusher closes and pusher knows that this user isn't online anymore and it will send it will trigger the event on this channel that is called pusher member remove and because of that i will just copy this these uh, these few lines of code and uh, we'll just rename this member remove removed and the only change is to say remove user and what happens it will this function will remo remove the user from the list and we don't have this implemented yet so I'm gonna create this one and uh, how we know what should we remove it's simple because we have uh, user divs that have class of, uh, with the prefix user and username so we can just use our jQuery to select every div that has class user plus username okay and we can remove this okay now every time user disconnects this will be triggered on this event and the uh, user will be removed from the list and I think that this is everything we need for this to work properly so let's go to our browser let's log out let's go to another browser and log out here and if I log in as Jeff as before I see I'm only online user right now and if I log in as Kate now I can see Jeff and Kate are online and let's say Kate have one more tab opened and now Kate sees again herself and Jeff online if we close this tag tab um, Jeff wouldn't uh, will not notice that because pusher will remove user when all the tabs are closed so if I close uh, if I close this tab Kate is not uh, in the list anymore and uh, let's go back to Kate's uh, browser and now what if Jeff logs out if Jeff logs out let's get back see Kate there is no Jeff try to log in again Jeff and Kate are online Jeff and Kate are online so this was uh, the the easy solution uh, I can get off and uh, this is pretty much simple without using any tables in the databases and there is also a lot of problems what would you do how can you keep track of number of tabs that user has opened maybe you are triggering some script that uh, that is removing online user well user close the tab and if user has a lot of tabs open you have to keep that in mind you have to be aware of that fact well, because what happens uh, if I just uh, take uh, Jeff and again he can open a lot of tabs and um, if we close if we, he closes only one tab he will still be in online list unless he closed all of them and this is what I've wanted to show you I hope you enjoyed I hope you can implement this on your website uh, and uh, that that would be it. thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe